anytime these factors go down south, that means that if they decrease, obviously to have a positive impact on the tariff. So we are seeing a decline in the inflation. We are seeing a decline in the exchange. The city is appreciating against the dollar. So the local factors are actually helping the tariff to, to fall. So what's happening now is that for the next quarter, if this continues, this trend continues, and let's say the exchange rate even appreciates against the dollar much more, or the city becomes much more stronger, then obviously we'll see a decline in the tariff. If the, the fuel prices also remain same or they decrease further than this, then we are li likely to see even a reduction in the tariff completely, not even an increase or where it is, but we're likely to see a reduction in the tariffs. So it all depends on how these four factors I mentioned will play out in the next three months. If we don't do this, then that is very likely that the next time that we say we want to do a price adjustment, then we'll see a quantum leap, which is what we want to avoid. We don't want a situation whereby we'll have to be increasing tariffs as say 30%, 40%. But if we can see marginal increases of about four or 5% to correct the effect of exchange rate and those other parameters, which